Yeah, we spend a lot of time on the water. I would say that we are a water family. Uh, we surf and fish and, and boat quite regularly. Uh, spend a lot of time at the beach. Uh, as far as the Bahamas go, um, we come over here uh, quite often, but scattered as a family. Pretty rare do we come over here uh, together. So this is kind of a special trip to have mom and dad and, uh, and our 18-year-old son with us. Well, when we first got the phone call and the invite to come over here, um, we were told there'd be two boats, uh, the uh, Pursuit S328 and the Pursuit S368, both center consoles, both, both very similar boats, just kind of a grown-up version. And the goal was to get Julie, my wife, into her first Marlin. And I'm thinking, wow, that's a pretty bold statement. Uh, pressure was on. <laughs> So I just felt really good about it. I felt very optimistic. Um, I, I knew we were, I just felt like we were going to find one. You know, offshore fishing is a lot about being able to understand what's going on with the conditions on the water. Um, so we look at everything from, um, you know, choppiness uh, to glassiness. We look for uh, weed lines. We look for the temperature of the water. And um, we had been looking around uh, for most of the day and. Um, decided to run a little bit further off just to look for some better conditions. Um, we found a little bit of cooler water, we found some birds, uh, and we found some bait. And generally when you find those things, that's when you can find the predatory fish. I mean, there was some pressure on the boat. Everybody wanted Julie to get a marlin. Uh, we got a couple of yellowfin tuna, and that was great. But, you know, we came over here to get her into a marlin. And quite honestly, it was toward the end of the day, and. Uh, we were discussing pulling lines in and coming back in. And uh... before you know it, um, one of the ladies on board looked over the side and saw something kind of black and blue. And uh, I knew automatically, I was like, that there's a fish. We only had, we were going to wrap it up in a few minutes, but then we saw the fin. And the next thing we know, one of the rods got hit. We had the fish on. So it got real exciting then. We got a little bit fun, crazy, um, you know, they're saying, Julie, Julie, get down there, my husband's getting the belt ready. That was exciting. I'm trying to pay attention and like soak it all in because I didn't want to miss anything. So it was really exciting because the fish came out of the water and it did its little spin and I was able to see that. Um, and then finally got my belt right and got the rod in my, in my belt and started reeling. And before you know it, we had the fish caught in like 15 minutes and it was uh, really awesome fishing from uh, the boats because everybody was around and was able to be a part of it without being in the way of the cockpit and that's like, um, so I really enjoyed fishing the boat and we were able to catch our first white. And it was great. So we got the boat, uh, the fish up by the boat. Uh, the mate did a great job of wiring it and um, he did a, a, a beautiful release of the fish. We watched the fish swim right away. Uh, just some really pretty colors. And uh, I'll tell you, it was a pretty euphoric event uh, afterwards. A lot of high fives. It was great. I think it was something Julie will never forget. Catching a marlin was really exciting. Um, I don't think my husband's caught a marlin, so I got one up on him. <laughs> I'm just really excited about it. Boy, I'll tell you, it worked great. Uh, we had their two nice center consoles. They're, they're big boats and uh, a lot of room to move. Uh, the, uh, the three days we've been over here, uh, no one gets in anybody's way. So we decided to um, pull up to this one little reef where the water was like different variegated colors. So we jump in, it's this gorgeous spot. And um, the minute we get in and we get down, we're realizing there's something down there. And here we are, we're on top of a shipwreck. It was just really interesting that we just stumbled you know, across something that wasn't marked. So that was a lot of fun. It was really cool. A lot of versatility. Um, the uh, I think the gunnel door uh, is uh, is a great feature on both boats. It allows people to get in and out of the boat real easily, and, and it opens up the uh, the whole experience uh, a lot. Um, we uh, brought both boats up on a beach one day and swam into the beach and uh, uh, just laying around relaxing. The nice thing about this boat is that there is a lot of shade. It was nice to have the, the back shade. The seating is amazing because 
there's always a place to sit um, or another seat to pop down. It's just a real neat vibe over here. It's a, it's, it's a fishing vibe. Uh, we use the boats for, uh, for snorkeling, diving, fishing, and just running around. It was incredible. Um, I, I, I was skeptical at first, but uh, plenty of room. It was cool. It was nice.